I have said repeatedly for the last four years that the left would eventually get their own Donald Trump. And what I've meant by that is you take every bad thing the left has said about Donald Trump, and they would eventually have their own, and they would refuse not only to acknowledge it, but they would defend it just like people on the right have defended Donald Trump. That there would be those who who took leadership stands and, and called out their version of what they perceived as Donald Trump, but most of them would double down in defense. For all those who who heaped uh, damnation upon Republicans for daring to support Donald Trump, they would get their Donald Trump, and they would behave exactly the same way, and they would refuse to acknowledge it. Look no further than Andrew Cuomo now. Look no further than Andrew Cuomo. The fact checkers are doing their best to defend Andrew Cuomo. The fact checkers, of course, are progressives who can't make it as real reporters, and so they decided to be fact checkers and call everything on the right a lie and everything on the left truthful, or it's complicated. Here's the editor-in-chief of PolitiFact, one of the most left-wing publications out there on Andrew Cuomo. Here's another headline, uh, Andrew. This is from uh, CNN this week. Governor Cuomo in New York saying he should have been more aggressive against COVID death misinformation. Uh, He's suggesting misinformation. He's kind of blaming the media for the newfound scrutiny about nursing home deaths. Do you think Cuomo's been given an easy, easy break by the media, and is that changing? I think the situation in New York is really complicated. Certainly, there are things to criticize about how the Cuomo administration handled data. But Mm. the heart of the matter goes back to last year when the state was asking nursing homes to take in patients, COVID patients, who are ready to be discharged from the hospital. Uh, We don't see hard evidence that that made a significant difference in COVID deaths. If you look at the statistics, New York is about having uh, the same numbers as other states around the country. And the issue was employees, workers in the nursing homes who didn't realize they were bringing COVID-19 into the nursing homes. So it's a really complicated situation. There's not clear-cut answers here. Really? Really? Uh, you, you notice, like other, except when you compare it to Florida, which has a larger population and per capita far fewer deaths than New York, whose governor refused to allow COVID-positive patients back into nursing homes and saved a lot of senior citizens' lives. I mean, look no further than NBC News' attack on Ron DeSantis. This is one of the most amazing sentences I have read in the media. Here's the headline. Florida governor accused of playing politics with COVID vaccine. Someone named Corky Samasco. Corky Samasco. Really? A senior writer for NBC News Digital. Corky has this to say. Ron DeSantis, a Republican, ignored federal guidelines and prioritized getting senior citizens, one of Florida's most potent voting blocks, vaccinated first. When Holocaust survivors and Cuban survivors of the Bay of Pigs debacle, revered members of two other key Florida voting blocks got their first shots, DeSantis made sure he was there for the news conference, and now the governor stands accused of using the COVID-19 vaccine to reward powerful political supporters and developers by setting up pop-up vaccination sites in planned communities they developed and where Republican voters predominate. Wait a second. He's giving them to senior citizens, which is what the CDC wanted. He didn't have to give them to nursing home citizens predominantly because guess what? He protected them unlike Cuomo. But you've got Brian Stetler on CNN say, we didn't really give Andrew Cuomo a pass, did we? And the editor-in-chief of Blink, oh, well, that's a complicated situation. How complicated is it that we know for certain, based on his own staff's admission, that Andrew Cuomo covered up the data? These people can't acknowledge the fact that they would behave exactly towards Andrew Cuomo. It's the way they condemn Republicans for behaving towards Donald Trump. They they have Cuomo's back. They love Cuomo. You've got Brian Stetler on, on television. We, we didn't give him a pass, did we? 
Well, it's complicated. Um, kudos to Jake Tapper at CNN for calling out Cuomo. He's one of the few uh, to really be very, very vocal about this at CNN as the data has come out. Uh, and, and so much of the press refuses to say anything about Andrew Cuomo. They, they, they want to give him a pass. CNN won't even acknowledge Andrew and Chris Cuomo. Here's Jake Tapper on CNN, one of the few on CNN to actually blast Cuomo. We just saw a small but respectable number of politicians willing to break with their partisan allegiances and criticize an intimidating leader in the face of loss of life. I'm not talking about the seven Senate Republicans who voted to convict Donald Trump. Senators Burr, Cassidy, Collins, Murkowski, Romney, Sass, and Toomey. I'm talking about the small number of Democratic officials in New York publicly expressing outrage after the latest development in the scandal surrounding New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and the numbers of New York nursing home residents who were fatally infected with COVID. You may recall the Cuomo administration last March told nursing homes, quote, no resident shall be denied readmission or admission to the nursing home solely based on a confirmed or suspected diagnosis of COVID-19, unquote. Nursing homes took in thousands of seniors with COVID, potentially infecting thousands more, such as 89-year-old Norman Arbini. After the Cuomo directive, his family pulled him out of a nursing home after he already had gotten a fever, and Arbini died at home from COVID. Now, did he get COVID because of Cuomo's directive? We don't know for sure, but his family says it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Tapper's one of the few to call out Cuomo in the mainstream media. Democratic politicians are largely circling the wagon. What's so interesting here is that New York politicians are not. It's national Democrats and the press are circling the wagons around Andrew Cuomo, a man who has bullied and harassed people who dared to speak out. He's condemned, for example, Janice Dean at Fox News uh, for pointing out his logical inconsistencies on handling COVID, his anti-science approach to handling COVID. Uh, she has said that he would be covering stuff up, and sure enough, he has been covering stuff up. And now NBC News is attacking Ron DeSantis for the audacity of giving senior citizens the COVID vaccine and putting uh, COVID uh, vaccine centers in areas where there are a large number of senior citizens because they vote Republican. NBC News is apparently okay if the senior citizens there die. These people for four years attack Donald Trump for everything. They couldn't, they could not help it. They had to do it. They were predisposed against everything he did. And I have said for those four years that they would eventually get their own version of what they perceive as Donald Trump and they'll never recognize it. They'll never admit it. They will deny it. They will defend that person. Oh, we would never do that. We, we would never behave like you Republicans. Never. Here comes a governor of the state of New York, of the Cuomo dynasty, who gets fluffed up every night on CNN by his brother for months on end. I mean, doing things that are illegal in every state except like parts of Alabama and Mississippi. And then CNN says, oh, well, he's not allowed to He's not allowed to interview his governor. That would be a conflict of interest. His brother, he can't interview him. It's a conflict of interest there now. We would want him to ask tough questions. We have his staff in closed-door rooms saying, yeah, we we lied. We, we covered it up. Uh, we were afraid that Donald Trump would make political hay out of it, so we had to be quiet. Sorry we didn't give you the data. Sorry we let the old people die. The, the Democrats have said for four years they would be intellectually honest. They would stand up. They would call out their own side. They would never do what they said Republicans did to Trump. We now know for certain Andrew Cuomo engaged in a cover-up. We now know for certain on the same day Ron DeSantis in Florida was saying, don't send senior citizens back to nursing homes if they've got COVID. Andrew Cuomo was saying, pile them in, knowing what would happen. And the media would still rather attack Ron DeSantis than attack Andrew Cuomo. They cannot bring themselves. They've got to defend their precious. They are who we always thought they were, even though they've denied it.